Happy Testimony Tuesday, love angels. I'm so excited. Oh, and look at that. I just happen to have on my Cookies with the Soul shirt. I didn't do that on purpose. Trust me, I just had this shirt on in preparation for this video. But while I'm on the subject, I just relaunched Cookies for the Soul LLC. Or as should I, I should say, as an LLC. I've been in business since 2018, but now I'm officially in business and business. And business has been blooming by the grace of God. Um, if you guys are interested, it's vegan uh, cookies, homemade with love, healthy organic ingredients, soy free, completely soy free. I have gluten free options as well. So head on over to cookiesforthesoul.com. But I digress. On to the topic at hand. So I told you guys recently that I was introduced to Strands of Faith. And I am so excited to check out the amazing products. And just what the company um, stands behind, you know, their mission and just, you know, faith. And, you know, we should have faith this as small as a mustard seed. And they actually sent a mustard seed of faith in the packaging. Epic. Absolutely epic. So I'm so excited um, to do the whole system with you. As you guys can see, I have on my bonnet. Excuse the outside noise. And uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'm about to go and wash this head of hair. Yeah, it's about that time. A little dry, you know, so I'm sure that the strands of faith is going to hook me up and it's going to moisturize this head of hair of mine. So let's get started. So this is the bar soap. I love it. I wanted to show you guys the faith before it disappeared. So all I have to do is um, wet my hair. And then you're supposed to lather the soap in your hands and then just kind of finger comb your hair as you would if you had the bottled shampoo. And that's how you do it. All right, I'll be back. All right, so my hair is washed. I'm loving my curls, y'all. Definitely been working on my hair even prior to using Strands of Faith. And my natural curl pattern is coming back. Or maybe it's Strands of Faith that helped enhance this. But the soap smells so good. All right. And now I am on to the Holy Grail Intense Deep Conditioning Treatment. I'm going to put this in my hair and let it sit for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, if you want to use a steamer, you can do that as well. And then I'll be... All right, y'all. Here I am. So my hair is fully washed, fully detangled. I'm about to get my... My sister's actually about to braid it for me, but, you know, I had to show you guys the whole process. So what I love that they gave... Now, a lot of times you have water bottles and they just spray really harshly. I like that this is a, a mist. So I like to practice the LOC method or the lock method for those um, who are familiar. And pretty much it's a leave-in conditioner. I don't have strands of faith. I don't know why I don't have it, so I'm going to have to get that. So I'm using Jamaican castor oil, the Shea Moisture brand. And the O is for oil. I do have that. I have the Faith Strands of Faith Stimulating Sealing Oil with Peppermint Essential Oil. Mm. And the C stands for cream. So that is this. This is the Holy Grail Twisting Butter. So I'm going to just kind of show you guys a little bit of what I do. Um, oh, and I got these cool clips too. to help hold my hair up. So I'm not going to do all that right now, but... You know what? Let me try one of them. Just to kind of like just push it aside a little bit. All right. So I like to finger comb. I also have a detangler. And the best way to detangle, for those who don't know, you always start on the bottom and you work your way up. That's how you can prevent hair breakage. All right? So you make sure your hair is detangled. I also do it, I finger it like that, right? Then, what's the first one for LOC? Leave in. So I always take a little bit, and I never really know how much to take, but I have about that much. I rub it in like so. Then, another thing um, to really make sure you get it evenly all the strands, the praying hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for growing my hair. One of the things I love about this company strands of faith and you have to have faith as small as a mustard seed and one of the things that I realized about myself was I think a bit hard on myself when it comes to my hair like my hair when I was younger was really long of course like a lot of people we got into perms and then 
it broke and it never grew back to what it was. You know, my edges haven't grown back to what it was, but I have to tell you, this is nothing but God because when I was a young girl and I used to get braids, um, one of the braids came out of my hair completely and my hair ever since has been um, very thin, but as you can see, I have edges. It's been coming back just like loving on my hair, treating it well. And when I was having my hair consultation with um, this amazing woman, her name is Amika, Amika Shamika. She was, um, oh, I'm sorry, Amika is the owner of Strands of Fate, Abina. Um, we were talking and I was like, oh, my hair's not growing as fast as I wanted to. Like it's growing, but not super fast. And she was like, you know, stop putting that pressure on yourself or being hard on yourself. And I didn't even think I was, but me even saying my hair is not growing fast enough means something. That's me pretty much saying like it's not, and it is. She was like, you're not doing anything wrong. All you need to do is wash your hair, condition it, you know, and put love into it and pray over your hair. That's something I never did. I apply prayer in every other area of my life, but I've never really asked God to regrow my hair to what it was. So it's come a long way. If you know how it was over the years, um, I've been natural for a while, but this is the first time it's really healthy to see the color is like growing out. But now I pray over my hair every day. And she talked to me about Jonah and the tree and how God could grow my hair overnight. So every day I'm just completely having that mustard seed faith. And before you know it, in a few months when I do this video again, you guys are going to see my hair just grow. So wait for it. So that's my, my little pre-testimony. I'm sorry. I'm just dripping all over the place. All right. So I did that. So now it's time for the oil. I put a little oil. Rub that in. Same thing. I finger it through. Prayer hands. And then the cream for me is going to be the twisting butter which I should have opened beforehand, but, you know. By the way, ooh, it smells so good. So, I don't really have an amount. Again, finger through, prayer, hands, and then what I do, so I can get through each piece of my hair to make sure I detangled it right, and that, you know, all the moisture gets on every strand, I twist it. And I literally just do this to my whole head and I go from there. So my sister is about to give me some amazing braids. I just, I was like, I just want some good old corn rolls just going back. Don't have to worry about my hair, you know? So I'm gonna work this. I'll be back to just show you my hair in the twist. And if you guys wanna see, which I'm sure you do, I'll just show you my hair once it's all done and braided up and it's not gonna be anything special, but you know, one thing is keeping our hair you know, not manipulated, braided, twisted, you know, that'll help with hair retention as well. Um, you know, the air and the dryness can get to our hair. So it's why we need to really just kind of keep the moisture locked in and doing styles like twists and braids are best. And right now during this quarantine time, it's actually a win-win because I'm not going anywhere. We're supposed to be staying home. The devil be trying it. He would try and cut my video off right now. So yes, I was saying that we need to be staying home unless we're going out for, you know, groceries or things like that. Or if you're an essential worker and you have to go out. Otherwise, you should be in your house. And the perfect style to wear in the house is twist, braids, keep that moisture locked in. Um, and it really will help with the hair retention. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll be back to show you the twists if you want to see that and then how it comes out in the end after my sister braids it. Wait for it. All right, here they are. Just some nice old twists. So now my hair is completely detangled. So when my sister braids it, it's gonna be very manageable. So it's a little bit wet. I'm gonna let it do a little air dry or I may just have her braid it wet, we'll see. But next shot you'll see will be me with my braids. Wait for it. And I need to say this. This is amazing. Like this mist is everything. These products are everything. The smell, my hair really feels loved and nourished. So thank you, Amika <laughs> from Strands of Faith. Amika Shamika, I love it. Hopefully one day we can meet, you know, once all of this has passed. But um, yeah, so next time you see me, 
Hey love angels, so uh, as I was about to post this video that you're watching, I was like, you never did your video of your hair braided. My apologies. So here it is. It's a little late, but got my braids that my sister gave me. So my hair is nice and nourished with love, moisturized, and it's in a protective style until I wash it again this week. So I pray that you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go out and get Strands of Faith. I'm going to put their website link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.